I'm Caroline Watson, the Social Justice and Communications Coordinator with HIVE, a hub of positive sexual and reproductive health, and I'm here with Becca Schwartz. I'm the social worker with HIVE Clinic. Becca is really, really an amazing social worker. She was my social worker when I was a patient here. My husband is living with HIV and I'm not, so I got my prenatal care here when I was pregnant with my daughter. We were homeless at the time and Becca helped us to find transitional housing and to get into the low income housing where we live today. Uh, currently we're doing really well. We're both working and I'm in school. My daughter goes to an amazing school and we would never have been able to live at the place where we do if she had not advocated for us to be able to be there. Because I had an eviction and my husband and myself both have really terrible credit. So why, tell me why you decided to become a social worker. Well, I think I always um, was headed toward being a social worker. Um, it took me a while to learn that that's what it's called um, and what the path would be to get there. But I um, kind of always had justice and injustice on my mind and loved being in relationship and in conversation with people. And that, that meant that I was headed toward social work. Tell me what's the hardest part of being a social worker? Um, I feel like the hardest part of being a social worker are the systemic barriers in the way um, uh, that that need kind of constant clearing out the things that get in the way of a, of a woman and her health care, whether they are um, barriers of kind of, you know, um, legal barriers, insurance barriers, um, the fact that the safety net is so kind of broken and full of holes that um, getting someone uh, access to care and then beyond that access to what they need to, to thrive, whether it be um, a, a healthy, happy place to live, a solid income, a good education for their children. There are so, it's, um, it's so piecemeal and it's such a struggle. So lack of access to resources, lack of resources I would say is the hardest part of the job. The other hard part of the job is seeing that, um, you know, still in HIV specifically, um, despite the incredible advancements in care, stigma is so pervasive and um, I think kind of the main barrier to care for many of our clients and so we despite our, these wonderful medications that we have we still have clients who aren't making it um, and working with and you know coming to have strong relationships with people and really love and care for them women who have not who have not made it who have died is a very hard part yeah. and, um, and what's the best part like what makes you want to come to work every day and really be here there's lots that's the best part I feel um, uh, and I want to come in every day um, I love about my job that it's so that it's so varied and that I there are the every day I feel like it you know whatever I'm focusing on that day uh, is so specific to that day to that woman to her family so some days I may spend you know, I may spend three weeks fighting with Medi-Cal to get adequate transportation coverage for a woman who's being denied care in her home county and needs to come here to get good medical care for her to have a healthy, safe pregnancy. And for those three weeks, that's what I'm focusing on. And then I may spend the next project maybe completely different and about helping someone who's with a stable life situation with a brand new HIV diagnosis. And then it's really the emotional work of, of you know, bringing that on board and coming, beginning the work of accepting HIV in her life. Um, my work is so varied, but it always in the end is about um, the relationship that I get to have with um, with my clients and I love those relationships and I treasure them. Thank you. <laughs>